Thomas Ding Dong. But every huff and every chuff got harder and harder. Thomas passed through the next station, but he was almost out of puff. Thomas wasn't having fun anymore. He could hardly manage his heavy load. Then there was trouble. The trucks were very heavy. Once he started going down the hill, they wouldn't stop. Help! cried Thomas. Thomas, look what you have done! You have caused confusion and delay. I'll have to report Mr. Sir Top and her. No, please don't. Meanwhile, Percy arrived. Have you guys heard what happened to Thomas? He had an accident and now Peter's going to find the fat controller. We can't let that happen. And we've got to help Thomas. Who's with me? Oh, okay, yeah. so here's the plan. Hello. Welcome to the island of San Andreas Emergency Hotline. Yes, I'd like to make a call to Sir Top and Hat. Your call is important to us and it will be answered when we feel like it. Please don't stop. Oh, and can you tell... Tom Bahis, cancer medicine is ready. Is that Henry? Uh, no. For five minutes, say press one. For an engine breakdown, press two. If you want to get back to whatever you're doing, don't bother. If you want to go recipe, press 111. If you haven't figured it out by now, but it means you'll check us. Alright, stop it! But it's on the line. Is it you, Henry? Uh, no, it's Emily. Emily, don't prank call on Peter. I'm going to have to pinch you for that. Ow, Peter, don't pinch me. Ow. Ow, 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 I'm sorry, but a person you calling is not available. Please leave a message after the beat. I mean, beep, your mother. Mm. Thank you. Oh, God, Bennett! This is even more for us coming by the time I try to become Jack's operator. Would you mind telling me where you got your license? I already told you I'm classified! Well, after a bad telephone message ended, Thomas delivered the materials. It was getting late. Now he knew he needed some help. Thomas wished and he wished. He huffed and puffed. He had to get back to Titmuth as fast as he could. Then there was trouble. When Thomas and I did tip the shirts, they were empty. Thomas looked around, but no one was about. All there was was, was empty shed spaces. Thomas felt sadder than ever. Right, the cream chose showed up. <clears throat> What's wrong, Thomas? he asked. I let everyone down, he puffed sadly. And the fat controller. Cheer out, Thomas. Look, follow me. Where are we going? To the mountain hill. Thomas, it's wicked! But how? In the dark, thundered Thomas. Well, I used my head lamp and let the maid and help clear the mocks, said Toby. 
me and James pull the front of a train, and me and Gorton pull the back of a train, and I kept an eye out, said Emily. You mean, you worked all that time, as I was such a pain, tyrant, ogre? Yes, I was. <sighs> I'm sorry, everyone. I wanted the new visitor centre to be a big success. I guess I got things carried away. But why don't... But I tell you what, why don't you finish it off on your own? I'll see you back at the yard. And maybe, maybe we'll get time to get some sleep before the big day tomorrow. Okay, see ya. The next morning, the fat controller came to see Thomas. He was very pleased. Well done, Thomas. You and your friends do a splendid job of getting everything here on time. Now our first visitor should be arriving any minute now. Thank you, sir. But it's not just me that should get the praise. I couldn't have done all that without the help of my friends. We all worked as a team, and we'll do more of that in the future. Then, Doc arrived. Get ready! The visitors are coming! He cried. And he was right. Lightning brought the car to the new visitor. Welcome to the island of Sodor Visitor Center, said Thomas. This is what the island of Sodor is all about. And all of the engines agreed. personal physician, Dr. T and the women. Um, could you tell Tom his contagious penis cancer medicine is ready? Oh, my God. What's wrong with you, you silly phone? <laughs>